Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So today we got a sponsored video by Wind Booster. They just sent us a throttle controller for our 2015 Honda Civic. So we're going to be installing this in the 2015 Honda Civic and we're going to see how it works. But if you want to get one of these, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put the website down there. Click on it. You can use my code. It'll give you a percentage off. And I'll put all that uh, description down below. I'll put everything with the uh, uh, details and how much you'll get off. And uh, let's get this installed. And let's do an unboxing. And let's see if the throttle is better on the 2015 Honda Civic. So before we get in this video, hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video. Get us some merch right down below, the Teespring. Get your t-shirt or, or sticker or something like that. Help out the channel. So let's do it. All right, so in the box, you do have a sticker, um, wind booster right here. You can use that sticker on anything. It has a little uh, instruction booklet right here. Exchange for your free prize. And then it shows you your different um, points requests right here for which one you buy. It'll give you uh, exchange for your free prize. So this one right here is your wind booster it's got bluetooth right here and you can use it for ios and android so it does have an app so we'll install the app on here i'll show you how to do it and we'll install the app we'll go different we through the different modes in this thing okay so let's pull this out here so inside the little uh thing here this is the little wind booster controller so it looks like a throttle controller just from um like um one of the other brands this sits in your uh on your dashboard or somewhere right there so it hooks up to your throttle um pedal and then the other part hooks to your uh hooks to this and then this will hook up somewhere else so you have your little throttle controller right here so you have your little plug-in right here so you can plug it in it has 3d tape uh 3m tape on the back so you can actually stick it somewhere like this okay I'll put that over there we're gonna see what's inside here all right so so this is the plug-in right here so you got one plug-in that plugs into the the gas pedal the other one plugs into the actual harness for your gas pedal so we're going to install this i'm going to show you exactly how to do it okay so you got your little module right here so this is your bluetooth module right here and then you have your power cord right here which is like a lightning cable for like an apple and that will plug right into there okay so we're going to install this real quick all right so inside here it does come with some zip ties so you can use the zip ties to wire it underneath your car and then inside here um it's got your user manual and it probably has your qr code for your app and all that kind of stuff so chip bluetooth chip tuning app right there so you can do it right to the app and you can see so we're going to be doing this on here and i will show you exactly on the phone and when we're installing this on how to do this. So um, I'm gonna get this open and then I'll be back. All right, so inside the instruction manual right here, you got, uh, you got product information and performance characteristics, settings, um, troubleshooting, warranty document, Bluetooth chipping, all that kind of stuff. Flip that page right here. So it comes with so this is what it comes with your app your display you got a cable cable adapter cable ties and then your ios um, qr codes right here and your android qr code is right here so we're going to be scanning this and then we will install the app and then we'll do the different drive modes of eco and everything that it has um let's see if it has in here shows us what the different okay so right here you got race mode drag mode and um, lock mode automatic mode and you get all these right here so you have um for racing competition extreme driving pleasure drag mode power enough for attraction um and then economy mode you have different 10 different modes for this and then you have fine tuning mode which you can fine tune your vehicle for your um you know driving whatever you're driving in all right so let's get this installed and uh, let's get driving. Let's install the app and let's get driving. Let's see if this actually works better than the throttle on here because when I put it in sport mode, 
and I try to use the paddle shifters, it is very slow taking off and I don't like it. I like fast cars, okay? So I've you seen my Integra and all the other cars that we've had. Yeah, this is, this is very slow. I mean, I like my Honda, but it's slow. So let's see if it makes it faster. All right, so right underneath here, you can see right on top of the gas pedal there, and uh, there's the plug. I already undid the plug right there, but you can see where the plug is. So that's right on top of your gas pedal because you're gonna fly by wire um, throttle body on these cars, okay? So your plug right there. So we're gonna be plugging that one into there and then plugging it right into the gas pedal and it will bypass um, straight to your uh, ECU and throttle body and all that kind of stuff, all right? So, um, so right inside of here, like I said, you have, I can do it, all right, you have your plug-in right here, okay? So this one's plugged into one and plugged into the other. So we need to unplug this, all right? And then that plug goes into here. This plug will go into your um, gas pedal right here. All right, so this part right here is the plug that you see hanging down right there, okay? So that's going to plug into there, all right? And then you plug this part right here which looks like that that's going to plug into um your your uh gas pedal okay so we're going underneath here and uh we'll plug this up so now you can see how i have that plugged in so i have the one plugged in from the module there you can see it's plugged into the gas pedal the other part up there is the other wire and that one's hooked up into the actual um where the gas pedal piece came off so you can see how it makes a loop all right so you can see that we, it's in normal mode right now and we have the different modes so you can set normal sport sport plus race and drag i auto the valet and then a slip and then economy and normal right now we're going to try a normal mode and then we're going to put it in sport mode and then we'll do the sport plus we'll do the race we'll do the drag and then we'll do the valet and we'll do the economy mode and the normal mode i've been driving this for a few days now and it is really good i like it it saved me a, a little bit of gas mileage you can see right now i got uh 31.5 but i've been uh i've been driving in race mode and, and sport plus so i am been driving economy mode but we're going to do that and i'll give up uh, update later so let's go drive it in normal mode and let's see what it does and let's put it in race mode and see the difference all right so now so i'm in my 2015 honda civic and uh they're just driving in normal mode right now we're just gonna get just get a baseline of what the normal mode would do would do right now just driving to normal we're gonna get on it a little bit kind of see where it is and then uh we'll go from there we'll put it in race mode we'll see the difference and then sport plus and then uh, we'll go to drag mode and we'll see the difference. I've already been doing, I've been driving this thing for about a week now and uh, it is, it's nice. We've had a lot of rain. We've had that hurricane come in. So it kind of just passed us. We can see how dark it is out here and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's see. So this is just, uh, this is just normal mode. See how long it takes to shift. Okay, so that was about 52 miles an hour. All right, so we're gonna see the difference. We're gonna turn around and we'll put it in uh, put it in regular. We'll put it in race mode real quick. And we'll see about the difference. It. Let's put it in race mode. Okay. Let's see what the difference between race mode is. All right. So race mode here. Oh my goodness, you can already see the difference. That's race mode right there. That's so much difference between the normal mode. I love this thing. This thing is great. Look at the look at the throttle response between like the normal mode and the uh and the race mode here. Put it on this road and then we'll do the we can do the drag mode. The drag mode doesn't seem like it's um, the shifting points for as far as like you're shifting, what your transmission shifts at. 
that's the only difference I've seen between the drag mode. Um, I don't think it really takes off as fast as like race mode. I think race mode gives you more takeoff and more, see, look at that, more throttle response. We'll turn this corner up here and we'll see the, see the difference. I'll put it in, uh, we'll put it in drag mode real quick and we'll see what it is. So let's put it in, let's put it in drag mode real quick. So you got drag mode right here, okay? So you can see the difference between drag mode. Got almost 6,000 RPMs before it shifted now in drag mode. See, I told you the difference between that. It's, it's just pretty much the, the shift points for how, when uh, normally it will go. The throttle response is it's it's not as good as um it's not as good as race mode that's what i noticed the difference between but it's still um drag mode is is great because it's a higher shift point so it gives you more of a, a higher shift and higher rpms when you shift okay so let's put it back we'll put it in uh we'll put it in economy mode here and we'll see what economy mode does. That's my foot to the floor. There. That's my foot to the floor in economy mode. That's even with economy on, so I could probably turn that off. But. Yeah. That's economy mode. Valet. Valet is a lot worse than this, but. If you wanted somebody to drive your car and it was really fast and. You know, you don't want them directed. You can always put it in valet mode and you can hide that thing and you can do it right from your phone too. You can download the app and uh, you can do it right from your phone and see the difference between that. So we're going to be doing that and hooking that up. But it's so much difference between this thing. So there's economy mode. And then we're going to go to, uh, I'll just do valet mode real quick and you can see the difference. So there's economy mode. Now we're gonna go to a little bit of valet mode here. Go valet mode, okay. There's your valet mode right there. Turn this corner right here. Got a bump here. Yeah, so here's your valet mode. That's about half throttle right there, and it's not really going anywhere. But if you wanted somebody to drive your car valet and and not have the power there, this is perfect. I like this about it. I like that it has this. Okay. So let's get it. Uh, let's get it hooked up to the phone, and let's go over that real quick, and then uh, we'll do a review. All right. So I got the app downloaded. Now we need to find the code. Okay, so to find the code, you just push these two buttons right here. And it tells you your ID code, and that's your four-digit code that you put that in there, and that will um, connect it to your phone. So we're going to do that now. We're going to do 0151, so that's my code for mine, and we're going to hook up this. So let's put this code in here, and let's see what it does. Okay, you can see how we're in sport mode. And then we went to sport plus. We went to race mode, okay? We went to drag mode, and then I auto, valet, anti-slip, economy, normal. So you see the little Bluetooth icon right there, okay? So that means that you're connected to the Bluetooth thing. So now on your phone, you can put this away, which I'm gonna put it inside here, right here. And uh, so I'm gonna set my phone up here where I set it at, and then we're going to, uh, I'll do it right from the phone and you'll be able to see um, the difference between there. But that's how you hook up the Bluetooth to this, to your phone, through your app. So I had a little problems doing it, but I figured it out. So there you go. All right, so thanks, Wind Booster, for sending me that for my 2015 Honda Civic. I love it. I love the different modes. So if you want to get one of these, I'll put a link in the description below. Get you 10% off using my code, JC Motor Garage. And... Uh, Hook them up, 
get you one of these you'll love it it's awesome and it didn't take long to install it's very easy app was easy once i figured it out so if you need to go back and uh look at my little tutorial on how to do it and how to figure it out it took me a minute but i got it so if you want one of these like i said hit the description below and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on jc motive garage